Welcome to Root Stem on this wet and rainy day, and welcome to Orcs versus Gene Steeler Colt on Recon Patrol. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, joined by Will today, again, Hello. in his uh, gaming area, and we've got my dog, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hello. Right. We're playing a recon game uh, from page 344. We've both got his army set out. If anyone's actually paid attention to the previous battle, I won that one, so I've got an extra 10 power level on this. So it's a 75 orc power level of orcs versus 85 power level of Gene Steeler Colt with allies, but we'll have a quick look at that in a moment. All the armies and the mission and everything else is going to be on my website, rootstem.co.uk. Beyond the bunker section, I'll include links down below for you to be able to go and have a look at. So, we've already divided the table up into table quarters. I'm going to be in this table quarter here, and Will's going to be in that table quarter there. If you read Recon, half of his army has to be set up in strategic reserve for free. Not a problem really for Gene Steeler Colt, but it's going to make it a little bit weird for Orcs, because they're not really used to it. Terrain-wise, we've gone for a city aesthetic, and in the campaign, we've added additional city rules. So, if you spend your entire movement phase, that includes your advance, off terrain, and you don't cross over any terrain, you don't go up any terrain, you don't go through any buildings, you get an extra plus two to your movement, so that can make you pretty quick. If you go into terrain, into the ruins, so this is ruins, that's ruins, that's ruins, that one over there, that little one there is ruins, uh, this is ruins, and this is ruins. You get an extra plus one to your saving throw. All the terrain gains heavy cover, and all the terrain gains this extra plus one. So these were counting as Mechanicus, so it's be a minus one to hit, and a plus one to your save. Same for that, and same for that. Uh, but pretty much, as you can see, we're kind of blocking off a lot of line of sights, especially in the middle. It's not really going to be that much in the way of shooting on the first turn, but we are Orcs and Gene Steeler Colt, so we shouldn't be shooting too much anyway. The mission's quite simple. Hold objectives. We're going to get the objectives down in a minute. Uh, basically, you've got one in each quarter. That's, that's the way the rules are. And there's a recon mission where you have to scan each table quarter to earn additional points. So that will actually be quite interesting, especially with us coming on from reserve. We'll find out what his table edges are, because I believe... That's my table edge. So reserve-wise, I'll be coming on from there or from here if I'm coming on from the side. And that'll be the same for Will. So he'll be coming on from the short table edges. So that'll make it quite interesting because on turn two, you can't come in your opponent's deployment zone. But on turn three onwards, you can. So we may be infiltrating each other here quite harsh. Right, let's take a look at some armies. Right, then Will is going to tell you what he's got on his orcs. Yeah, very right. <laughs> so old. Bears is all army. Ripper's mega gits. Uh, they're the ones with the um, extra skills for, yep. that they got on the last game, which they've got plus one to movement, plus one to charge, plus one to advance. That's pretty good. That's going to be pretty so, good for this one. So that's his skilled unit. That's a unit that went up in the last game. The rest of his army. Yeah, we are keep. We're not doing it like a proper crusade. We're just picking and choosing which which units we want to keep. You have no detriments at the moment, do you? I do, but you don't. No, so. I've, I've looked out with that one. You have. Um, what else we got? So at the back we've got his troop transporter's truck. Yeah. Uh, we've got his... Morkanaut, uh, is it? I, I believe. believe so. Uh, he's got the um, sparkly bits, so he'll be hitting, it, hitting on fours. Okay. We've got his uh, burner bomber at the back. Yep. Obviously, more details available on... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we've got his weird boy. We've yep. got his um, warlord. That, yeah, He's that's your warlord. Body. Yeah. Uh, again, details are found on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got his warlords. Those I've already spoke about. Team of burner boys. Again. Ooh, ten of them. With a spanner at the front. Yeah. Uh, we've got his commandos. Oh, nice. A squad of slingers and choppers with, yep. warble, with a uh, noble at the front, a squad of shooters, noble, and a squad of slingers and choppers. He's gone for 10 man teams, I'm guessing, on this yes. one. Yes. So, again, all the uh, intricate details on the armies are yep. available on Rootstem. So yep, you'll be able to down, download the army list from our website. Right. The Guard slash Gene Stealer Cult Force. 
Here we have, uh, we do have what's called the Bladed Claw. This is my unit that managed to uh, get a skill last game. They have the six up ignore wounds. So effectively a six up feel no pain, which Will is a little terrified by, to be honest, because he struggled to kill them last time round. Um, the rest of it, of course, as you stand in, we've got red team here. We've got these guys. These guys did a good murderous number last time, but unfortunately rolled a one. So um, they lost some of the experience points. We've got blue team, mining lasers. We've got another, we've got blue shit. This is green shift with the uh, certain weapons. Like majority of the weapons, again, you'll be able to find on this website. We've got red team. And of course we've got a uh, icon of the cult sendered with my icon word. I'm gonna try and keep these guys alive as long as I possibly can. Then we've got a Luminous Battle Tank. That's part of the Gene Stealer Cult Detachment. I know I've put it back, but that's just easier. And then we've got a Brood Brothers team. So I'm spending two command points on this. We've got a uh, Tourist Venerator, legendary unit, captain, two squads, missiles, plasma, and then we've got a Lightning Strike Fighter because I don't like fighters. And I think going against other fighters will be quite, uh, quite amusing. Let's see what happens there. Quite easy, quite simple. Let's see what happens when they get on the field. So, we've got everything down on the tabletop. Will has pretty much got everything here. I have been sneaky, I've spent another command point, so I'm down to three for additional blips. This is because I'm not quite sure what turn I'm getting. As you can see, we've still got it marked out for when I do put my blips on. Objectives are, one is here. One is in that building there, one is in that building there, and the other one is down this corner here, so it's quite hidden away. Uh, we did actually put the objectives down after um, we put down the buildings, just because it makes it a lot more fun for us. Um, so, <laughs> these are Will's units in reserve, his, put, his shooters are in the truck, and these are mine. And they're in reserve, and of course, majority of the Magine Steeler units so can pop up anywhere apart from them two. I put the Lehman Russ and the Flyer in reserve. I'll knock me down to, I'll be this side, so I'll be player two. I'll knock me down to three. And the actual other missions we've got for each other is Assassins. We've both taken this, both taken Assassins and Cull the Horde. So that'll be quite interesting. Right, let's roll to see who gets first turn, sir. Absolutely. I've got a five. I have to go first, which I don't think is going to be great in this one, although I do have two large targets like his flyer and that thing that I can shoot at the beginning of the game. But let's get on to Gene Steeler Colt, turn one. So at the end of my movement phase, all of these units here have advanced. They're going to try and get into this building. I'm going to try and do some actions because if you advance, you cannot do an action. We're going to try and get some actions done next turn, um, basically to try and claim some table quarters with some scans. These guys have stood still, they're kind of like my holding. Um, this is blocking line of sight because that's a ruin, but I've got a fighter near me and I've got this Gorka Morka <laughs> giant thing. Neither of them can take advantage of the obscuring ruins. It's basically just going to be able to see them. So. The first order that he is going to give is to these guys. So we re-roll ones to hit. So we're going to have a crack rocket mm -hmm. at the fighter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's minus one to hit the fighter, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to need a five, re-rolling ones. No, same again for the second team. Oh, God damn you. Both have missed. Back down now to this guy with the last cannons. We have done a check. He can see the fighter because you still need to see it. And the ruin does not take effect. So two shots from the Turos Venerator. It needs fives. Two last cannons. Oh my god! That's a terrible way to start the day. Okay, ace flying. Oh man, man, that's awful. You ain't gonna hit the captain. You ain't gonna hit the captain. Damn it, that's probably going <laughs> to grinch me in this particular turn. So at the moment, I'm not doing any agendas because they haven't killed anything. And I'm not doing any objectives because you can't claim objectives at the beginning of your first turn. It will be in the second turn. Hopefully they're still going to be rewrite. Right then, sir, Orc, turn one. 
Right, so Will has spread those lads out there. He's advanced down here. I think we might have to check some of his We'll check some coherency on that in a minute, because I think he might be out. Uh, but we'll rearrange that if that's happening. Right, okay. He stood still. His war boss is zoomed round. And then this bomber has come straight across. And he's now dropping bombs on the unit that's on the bridge. So he rolls nine dice. I've got a lovely spot for you, sir. Always reading some more rules. <laughs> what do you need? Five up, I believe. Five up. So, a d6 for each model in the unit, up to a maximum of ten. I'd yeah. want to roll a model if it was infantry. For each roll of five up, you get some roll wounds. Right, yo. Oh. So, plus one if it's infantry. Does that yeah. mean that it changes from a five up to a four up? Yeah. Right, okay. So that'll be three then. Three of these guys perish. Right, so three casualties on there. We've rearranged these blasts because we completely forgot about the coherency. It's one of them weird rules. That jump is now being played in the psychic phase. Go on and sir. Medium six on two. Yep. So they so are now gonna the jump from there. Right, so starting with the war boss, he's now going to target this infantry squad here. He's going with the burner to start with. Assault D6. Six hits. It's a straight. So six hits, needing threes. Oh, only two. Only two this time. What's the minus there, sir? It's minus one, and it's for one damage of pop. Right, so I think I'll take that on some of the guys that's in our new cover. So, fives normally, minus the one means it's a six, but because of the terrain, it's a plus two. So I'm gonna need fours to save. I save one, and the banner guy is within six. I just save one, so one of these chappies goes down. He's got some more shooting to come up. The snagger claw, so it's an assault one. Yep. So hitting on fives. Go on, is uh, it sixes? sixes, cause you assaulted. Nope. Oh, opposite end at scale there. Uh, twin boomstick, so that'll be four dice. Yep. Give me a second, check how many he's got. Three twin boomsticks. All oh, right, so he's got 12 six. shots of it on this. Uh, well, Sorry, I thought that was four shots per boomstick. It's uh, two shots per boomstick. Hit no sixes. Two dark, three dackers. Another hit. So that's a good. Solid four hits there, needing sixes. That's, that's been some good rolls there, sir. Strength? Five. It's going to need threes. Wow. For two. What's the minus? None. So I'm actually five. I'm on threes because of our terrain. Oh, two fails. <laughs> Don't like these shotguns. Ah, one of them saved. I will actually take the mining laser off because then that will increase the charge needed. Will's going to go with the Scorcher next. He is putting everything he can into the character. Gain me some points. Gain him some, ex not, not, not victory points, experience points. We just need to make sure people are aware of that. So go on and sir, what are you firing first? The Scorcher missile. Now, he's still minus one pieces. to hit him yep. because he's up terrain. So just We've just checked that, with the Scorcher missile. It ignores the plus one to the saving throw. So it's not going to ignore this minus. So I get five. five. So I'm hitting on sixes, is it? Hitting on sixes, sir. You've got a six, you've got uh, Daka. No, not the minute. So you've got a hit. What's the strength of the Scorching Missile? Five. So you're going to need threes. It's wounded. What's the minus? Minus one, mate. So I don't get benefit to the cover, so I'm going to be five up in vulnerable save. He saves, okay. he saves. So you've got Super Shooter, which he's got two off, so that's six shots. Six shots from Super Shooters. Again, needing sixes. He's got one. He's got two, two hits. What's the strength? That's strength six. He needs twos to wound. Oh, sorry. Two, two, um, what's the minus? I believe it's a minus one, mate. Yep. Right, so it's a minus one, that's one wound that's gone through, unless, is he, how many wounds does he have? How many damage does it do? One. So it's just one wound off him, he's going to have three wounds left with him being a captain. Trying to get the experience points, Twin Big Shooter now coming in. 
He's on orders. Oh, misses. The gantries well, and the walkways and the smoke billowing up has uh, protected that captain. Have you got anything else to say? Other than destroy the train? No, <laughs> he's got nothing else. So the Morkan Auto, is it Gorkan Auto? Morkan Auto, this one. The Morkan Auto, the Nort is targeting everything at the infantry squad that's not in cover. So I am, I've, I've played one command point for take cover, so they're going to get a plus one to the saving throw. Hopefully, if they do get a saving throw, what weapon are you firing first? Right, sir? Custom made a blaster. No problem. It's assault one, hitting on fours, just to spark with this. So one is it, hit. Or? No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, happy with it. What's the. Uh... It's strength eight. So twos. I'm guessing it's hell of a lot of two. minus. That is a minus three for d6 damage. So even, even. There we go. That's one gone. Uh, custom Mega Zapper. Yeah. So a heavy 3d3. All right, okay. So that will be five. Custom Mega Zapper rolling to hit. Hit on fours. Go a Daka. Oh, no. wow. Will's shooting. It must be. It's terrible this the time. Fog, the dense denseness of the terrain around here. What's the strength on that strength one, sir? Strength eight, so. Two. Twos. Yep, and the minus. Three. So that's another infantry model, because I ain't taking it on the uh, heavy weapon team just yet. As just, he's just gone. He's gone spleege. What's next? Uh, I'm gonna go for rockets. Okay. Two rocket launchers. Yep. Two assault ones. Both hit because of your special thing. Yeah. Uh, Strength fake, so it's gonna be I, I know all these off the top of my head. <laughs> Twos. Yeah, minus of two, so I am gonna get a save, surprisingly, of six. No, that's another two infantry down. Two twin big shooters. Two, so that'll be twelve shots, won't it? Yes. This uh, extra command point spent on this thing to make it a ballistic skill of four plus is worth it at the moment. Go on then, sir. A lot of sixes. Extra shots coming in there, right? Wow. Well, another one, two, three, four, another six shots. Trigger. Another six shots coming in. Oh, wow. Now, this is strength five, isn't it, with being a big shooter? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah, so you're going to need a uh, freeze to wound. No minus, though, on big shooters. So you'll get your so saves. You'll get a save before. Well, whether or not I can roll the same as well is going to be another question. Oh, wow! A fluff when it comes to wounding there. So we've got... Uh, that'll be four... Seven wounds. Oh, seven saves. saves. Four ups. I lost well another two. So another another two infantry's gone down. It does mean I have lost six, so that could be a quite a bad morale roll. So that's about it for Will shooting. We've only really got half armies on the table, so some decent casualties on my brood brothers there. This lad here is now going to try and charge down here. Now he has declared both the infantry and him. We've measured up. It's an 11 inch charge, so Will is going to use ramming speed because he is an orc vehicle. Allows him to roll 3d6. So he needs 11. He's got it. He's in. Right, so that's Hats definitely going to be in. <laughs> These guys as well are charging into the back of my guy, so he definitely needs a 9 because he's used that jump to get there. And he got in with a 9. This is not looking good for the Colt. The Warlord is going first, he's, putting, he's just done his uh, speedy ramming and managed to knock three wounds off this guy. So he's going to do two attacks, which he's going to use a red dice for, into him, and the rest of them are going to go into my men. Go on then, sir. So I'm hitting on twos, red hitting dice for me. Yep. Okay. I believe I can re-roll that. Ooh. So he's, he's rolled to hit. He's not done very well. Um, he's got a miss on each unit, and now he needs to roll to moon. Now, what's your strength, sir? Uh, strength is going to be seven, eight, nine. Okay, so strength nine, so he needs twos. So he's wounded, everybody. What's the minus? 
Minus two for D3 damage. D3 damage, right, this is going to be a pain in the butt. So how many wounds have you got on the squad? In your dice? So Five. you've got four. You've got four wounds on the squad, one wound on him. Yeah. So roll them again. These are for your D3 damages. So you've got one with... So three of these, three of my men's taken three more, three wounds. He's taken two, and that one's taken one. So what I'm going to do, just to try and speed this up, that one... Do I save it? No, so the banner bearer will go down. I'll roll four dice. In fact, I'll roll against that one first. No, so I'll lose a man. So I'll take them off. And then I'll just roll three against them because there's no point rolling multiples if I don't get at least one six. And there we go. So there we are. Yeah, so this lot is now going to attack this, we've consolidated in, and the vehicle is gone. So I've lost my Tauros Venerator. Uh, it's my turn for combat, but I'm not going to go in because I'm wanting to try and stay away from him as best as I possibly can. I've all saying that, if I do, yeah, let's do it. No, I'm not going to do it. So we've got some morale to do. Uh, these guys here, they've got some morale that he's taking. They've failed, so I'll sort that out in a sec. The guys underneath, they've also failed. And then these lads on top, I think they've passed. Right. So morale-wise, I lose one. So I'll choose one to remove in a minute. And then nobody else flees. So the non-sergeant guy, he's going to go. They're okay. This guy's over here. They've got three guys left. Actually, I need to remove one. So I'll take the sergeant off. Uh, well, all of them passed, so that'll be fine. So the sergeant goes, oh, the, yeah, sergeant goes, they're still fine. And then with them, they passed. So that's not too bad. I've not lost too much in this particular turn. He's coming up to my turn two. He is precariously close to my edge, because I, I can ignore, as long as I'm holding within six, I can ignore the nine incher when deploying down here. So Willie's a little bit like, oh, right. Mm. It's all right. <laughs> no, no. The same goes for my entire flank down there. So this will be interesting when my reserves do turn up. So but when my reserves turn up, I'm going to have to give him a bloody nose because if I don't give him a bloody nose, he's really going to hurt me. Right, let's get into that's my turn. Let's see, anyway. Well, that's it. As long as he doesn't kill the crane again, we'll be all right. Let's get into Gene Silver <laughs> Cult turn two. Right, so Gene Steeler Cult turn two. These lads over here have stood still. These lads have come on from reserve. Now that is my table edge, so I can actually come within, uh, I can basically come within nine inches, I believe. I'll double check that in a second. And then he's come down here. He's nine inches. I've, I've taken a model off because of wobbly model syndrome. These have moved forward, these have stayed still. I've got an action there going on and an action there going on. These two are basically capturing these two table quarters. So that will give me two, at the end of my turn, it will give me two recon on table quarters. I've done the psychic phase already, just Mike from beyond, beyond on hit that unit there with the exclamation mark, giving them a plus one attack and a plus one strength. Hopefully, I'll be able to murderize this lad here. So I'll double check what it is for the rules. It might be I can, if I'm within an inch, maybe, I might be able to come in, but I'll double check it. And then we've got the tank over there as well. I can see him, but he can't see the tank unless he does some moving, because uh, that's the way these rules work. <laughs> so I'll just double check that and we'll get on with my shooty phase. Right, I did it wrong, so I've had to move everybody back. I've then spent three command points on perfect ambush and he got an inch forward. Ooh. Oh well, never mind. These, on the other hand, I've done it correctly because as long as you're within an inch of your table edge and you hold it within your deployment zone, which this is my deployment zone, then I can still be within nine of these, so that is fine. Those had to do it properly. Right, now I have fired some pistols. These have fired into the plane and took a wound off them. Fantastic. We're now going on to the Lehman Russ. He's going to open fire with his battle cannon into the infantry. And everything else, because of the rules for him being so many wounds, can be shot at regardless of this terrain piece. So I'm going to fire the battle cannon first. D6 shots for four. So four shots going into the infant orc infantry there. And I missed with every single one of them. Well done. 
So, two multi melters. These are now two shots apiece. Going into the side of the massive Gorkano, and I got one hit. One hit. God damn it. Well, that's going as well as mine. I've got a wound. Uh, it's a minus four. Do you have an invulnerable save on that? Yeah, I do. Could Go on then, sir. So I'll be five up yep. for the force field. Saves it. <sighs> Woo! Not what I wanted. Last cannon coming in. Oh. And that misses as well. So I've done really, really well in my turn. Oh, Every time I come to your ends, tell you. Yeah, right, uh, so. Is that, is that the excuse? Over here, I'm going to do it all together. So both plasmas are going to fire into the plane. The two rockets. Uh, all the large guns as well are going to fire into the plane. The two rockets are going to fire off down into this thing. So I'm going to do the two rockets together now, because it's just easier. And they both missed. So the plasmas, the black brown guy, brown dice of that lad there, they're firing into the fighter. I am overcharging, which is why I'm rolling two different colours. Yay! I need fives to hit, so he missed completely, but he's hit. Strength is eight, so I'm going to need threes to wound him. That's two wounds, and that will be two saves minus two, sir. So what's his save? Save four, sir. Four, so need sixes? No. Nope. No, so it takes four wounds. <coughs> so, the Voss Pattern Lightning is now targeting the character. It is the closest model, and he's not got anybody else around him. He's also a vehicle, so I think I can shoot him anyway. Right. The brown ones, of course, the Mechanicus dice are going to be for my Lightning Hellstrike rack. Which I think missed completely. Yes, it does. Great. So I hit him with a last cannon. I'm not quite sure what his toughness is, but toughness I six. think, uh, yeah, I think a six will wound him. Minus a three, sir. So I don't know what your save is with this guy. Save a four up. So he's not going to get his armour. But he will get the cyborg body for each one up. So, D6 damage. I did, it wasn't a roll, I dropped it. For three. So he suffered three wounds, sir. It's a cyborg body. Go ahead. He's three rolls of five for each one. Yeah, yeah, go on him. No, so how many wounds has he got left? Yeah, no. Eight. He's got eight wounds, uh, minus the three. So he's got five wounds five. left. Right, let's see if we can chip these away. Right, these guys are going to open up, which I completely forgot to do. I nearly went until the charge phase then. They're going to open fire, everyone can see. I'm going to do the shotguns after, because some are strength 4, some are strength 3. So that is going to impact with the toughness. Seismic cannons first, needing 5s. Story of my life, this. I'm using short wave, so that's a strength for 6. That's a wound, sir. Short wave is minus one and two damage. So saving on a five. Saving on five. No, two damage from his cyborg body. No. And no, so he's down to three. Two flamers kicking in for a double one. <laughs> oh, two wounds though. Needs two fours. Yeah, he gets both of them. Right. Shotguns are going to have to do this individually. So, these lads are going to charge. I need a three inch. They're going to charge the big lad. I need a nine. He's going to charge the big lad. I need an eight. Here we go. Which one do I go with first, Will? Good on camera. Shortest range first. Will's not overwatching, so... No, I'm going to go with eight first. Will! <sighs> fail. Oh, do I use my over, Do I use my command? My last command point to re-roll the charge for an eight. Well, yes, go on. Because he could. He does quite a lot of damage if I can get through it. Oh my god! I fail. So I've lost my command point. These guys going in. No, I roll an eight now. <laughs> god damn it! These guys. Oh, I saw the one. But well, that's a six, so they're definitely in. So this is the only combat I've managed to get into. So basically I'm going to do start with the sergeant guy. We've got three attacks with his black bone sword and lash whip. In freeze. 
And freeze. So he kills one. And then we've got, I'll do the big meaty saws. Right, the two rock saws. Three hits. That's two dead. So another two of the boys go down. And then I've got everyone else. So these guys are now fighting. The Mechanicus dice is the ones that's just the uh, extra weapon. So we're going to roll them over here because it must be easier. So I need freeze. Not very good. That was the ones that missed. Need freeze. So regardless of them being sixes, that is three, four, five, six wounds he can't save against. And then three wounds he can. Right. So three wounds that he can save again. Two that saves, one of them. So he loses eight wounds there. So the Gene Steelers have moved forward. Gene Steelers Colts move forward, mainly to try and get out of a 90 degree turn over here. I don't think I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I'm completely out of it, but I might be. They've scored an XP because they did the uh, Call the Horde. So they've got an XP for actually wiping that unit out because they killed 10 models in a single turn. Well done, lads. Right, Orc, turn two. So Orcs have smashed through some buildings, are coming after some tanks. Um, some lads have turned up down there, some lads have turned up down here, and a wagon has turned up down here. All ready to try and get some shooting and some charging off at this lot of guys. His fighter bomber decided it's a bit too risky to try and stop round here, so he's gone off the table, ready to come back on turn three. And his war boss is kind of shimmying around, trying to trying to target this lad, but unfortunately, he's actually within three inch of these. So he can't be targeted, so he's probably going to try and finish off some infantry units. Now, we're into the psychic phase. Will has declared that jump again. With these, I'm not quite sure what pluses you're getting, actually. What units? Well, we'll roll the dice, and then we'll see what happens. So just seven AOA, and that's that's there's well more, but we'll check for popping up the head. So shooting, coming into the shooting phase now. These guys here open fire. They managed to kill one. The truck is now going to open up. Uh, it's got a big shooter. It's got stick bomb chucker and stuff, and that's going to open fire that way. So stick bomb chucker opening fire now. Minimum of three. Gets a six. So six shots. You got six. Yeah, yeah was, Ignore the red dice. Ignoring. No, oh, no, you, you count the uh, red I'm dice. Counting, it's not something separate. It's just yeah. a different colour. Fives and sixes. So he's got a six, a couple of fives. Ooh, that's four hits. His roll to wound, strength is three, so his, his one wound is wounded one guy, and it does go through, so I do lose another bloke. Big shooter next. One hit. A six roll another extra dice no, just one hit so wound. far needs a three to wound no doesn't wound and uh, lads in the back yeah it's gonna be a lot of shots so a big shooter from the lads in the back misses uh, 18 shooter shots that is a hell of a lot of hits you've got one two three four five six seven sixes there i think yeah, seven sixes, Jesus. Need another dice. Oh, he's got to get another one. Another oh, dice. Another dice. Another two, two hits. Wow, that's pretty good. So a hell of a lot of hits there. And he needs threes to wound me. I might be losing a squad here. Ooh. So eight saves, needing threes because of a cover. Oh, they've taken, nice. they, they've definitely gone behind that uh, pillar there. So only one goes down. So he's after that shooting, one. he's got some pistols to go with it over here. He's going to find a target in a minute. I'm just letting you guys be aware, those over there is his command points. We forgot that in this particular game, we stated we got two plus two command points per turn. So we've both given each other an extra two command points now. So I've got two and Will's got six if, if for anyone keeping track. I'm guessing these might start shooting these here. Yes, absolutely. Pistols, pistols, pistols. Go on then, sir. In fact, no, not them. The guys on the ground. 
Oh, best trick range. So he's splitting fire. Three of them can actually target these. So he's going to fire three of these. And then the other seven is going to fire into these guys here. So the first three then. Oh, no, missed. That The jump is confusing him a little. And then the next seven. You've One. got a six. So an extra shot for the Dakar. No. no. So he gets one hit, needing a three. To be honest, he did actually need a six to hit as well. Right, so I'm going to have to uh, come and have a look at this. So I've taken him off there, still within two, he's still within two inch and he's still within three inch of him so that you can't target him with him. That was uh, his tactic, I think, all along there, really, maybe. I'm not sure. Right then, so what's next in shooting? You've got this fella. Is he going last? Yeah, he's nodding, he's nodding, he's got a slow nod on. Is it this thing? <laughs> or is it? That's pretty much all you've got left to fire at the moment, is him mm -hmm. and the big lad. Right, the boss is opening fire, then he's going to fire with his Scorcher-like automatic hitty weapon first, so I think. Assault D6, for six. Does it need to hit that one, or is it auto hit? No, it's Assault D6, so right, this is how so, many hits. So, no problem, there's no minus, he didn't advance or anything, so he just needed fives. Six it's shots. just to wound, isn't it? I, I don't it know, does it say auto hit? Automatically hits, Right, it's no problem. So yeah, it's just to wound then, sir, what's your strength? Strength five. Needs threes. Is there a minus? Yes, there is. And it's a minus one. So I'm gonna need some sixes. I didn't get any, that's four down so far. Let's put um, the rest there. Snagger claw. Alright. Uh, shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an assault one. Yep. Hits. Uh, orc shooting. Oh no, misses. So, yep. And then what else do you have to have we've there? We've got the boomsticks. Boomsticks. Three, three twin boomsticks. And they're two shots each, aren't they? I believe so. Yep. So six shots. Hitting on fives. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I forgot to do some of Ooh, extra shot. That's five eights. It's doing well. Really What's the strength? The strength is five. Threes? Three of them? Any minus? No. So I need fives to save. Oh, two of them! So he's taken out five. Any more shots? No, not from him. Right. He's opening fire. Big shooters are going into the infantry. Everything else, custom-wise, is going into the tank. He's played more DACA. So any fives and sixes are going to explode into extra shots. Go ahead then, sir. So two, three hits so far. Three extra shots. No, we're hitting on fours because of sparkly bits. Ah, yes, yes, but three extra shots because of the fives and six. And another three hits. Wow, oh, Crane's getting in the way of my autofocus now. <laughs> right, roll to wound then, sir. Needing threes. This is pretty bad for me. Maybe not too bad. That's going to be six saves. Six saves then, needing fives. Lost four. Custom Mega Blaster now, single shot. Hitting on fours. Missed. Didn't roll a one so he's not hurt. He could command point it if he wanted to. Yeah, I've got plenty. He's going to. So he's hit. So strength eight versus toughness eight. He's going to need a four. He's wounded. What's the minus? The minus is four. Ooh, that's straight through the armor. Yeah. How much damage? Uh, no, minus three, so... Minus three, so I do get a save. Nope, it's gone through. How much damage, sir? D6. Go ahead. For two, taking that down come to on, ten. Can I come on? No, no, you've no. already used it. Already you used a reroll. Right. So it's 3D3 shots now from the other weapon. For three, five shots. 3D3. Can't command point, because you've already used it. So five shots, needing fours. That's a wound on yourself, sir. And two explosions. Due to more DACA. Yep. 
There you go. So you've got five, quite a good collection of hits there. Five hits. Strength eights and yeah. knee force. Yeah, strength, knee force. So three wounds, four wounds, sorry. My tank might explode here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, two have been saved. 2d6 damage coming through. For six, it's still alive. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's taken eight wounds so far. Rocket Four launch. wounds remaining. Rocket launcher. Two of them. It's two shots. Right? And both missed. Both failed to hit. The vehicle is still alive. Boo. <laughs> boo, hiss, boo, but not for me. <laughs> for me, it's all woo, champion. Right. Good stuff. So that's. So that's his shooting. Let's uh, go into some combats. So he's charged in here, he's charged in here, but none of the others managed to get in, unfortunately. So they stood out in the open. Now here, he couldn't get every single one of them because of the way his base is. So he's gone straight for um, some, hitting some of these guys and he's gone to hit some of the, this as well. So he's gone for two crutches and then him has gone for smashes because of the way that I could allocate the, the, the casualties. So then, so which, what, oh, so yeah, he's got coloured so, dice. Easy peasy. Tank. Yep. And there for your patriarch. Go on then, sir. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. So one oh, missed the else. patriarch. Near enough. Right then, sir. Roll to wound. It's twos on the green, threes on the red. Ooh. So the green has definitely gone through, and the tank cannot stop them. So the tank, you want to roll for damage on the vehicle first. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm, I'm just doing this, swinging around here. So 2d6 damage on the tank. That tank's going to go up. And then you've got two wounds through on the guy, Patriarch. So I roll for threat to save first. Saved one. And then on a four roll, that goes on to... No. So I take two damage on the Patriarch, which... I'll take the two damage on the Patriarch. On the tank... The tank does not blow up. So you have removed it, so he scores a kill. So right, war boss time. time. He's got seven attacks, needing twos to hit. I was hoping for a lot more fails there. He's got six. He now needs twos to wound. Nah, let's drop dice, That's pick it back up. <laughs> I get to reroll failed. Which there is no fails. Doesn't matter. Because it's a minus of two, I can't save it, so they are all dead, Dave. So the dead only Dave. they do, but I have a bone sword and lash whip, so he actually gets to fight before he's removed as a casualty. So I'll do that now. So that's two hits. His strength is five. Your toughness is six. I'm needing five to wound. I got a wound, and it's minus two. So I'm on a six up save. Oh, <laughs> right, so the biker has managed to wipe out that particular unit, but it's two lots of five in two different phases, so he doesn't get any experience points for that just yet. But it means he is going to claim that objective. Over here, we've got a duel going on. Patriarch is going to fight back. He's hit with everything. And he's fives and sixes to wound, and he gets to re-roll all failed wound rolls. Ooh. So he's got a six. Right, so. Oh dear, mate. Yep. So that's three. Right, so. What are the minus slots? Those two are minus six. So, so you're not going to get a save against them. And that one is minus three. So you do get a save against that one. So one so save. One save? No. Nope. No, now. So it's all if I roll a six, it's maximum damage. And I have given him the Bio Alchemist. So they are four each. So that's out of them two, damage. that's eight. And this one's D3. So I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just roll a d6. It's a d3 plus one. Nine. Another two. So he's down he's to seven. seven. Oh dear. He's taking a... <laughs> he's, taking, he's taking a big hit. That patriarch is not impressed that you've taken out the steel, or whatever I've called that Lehmannus battle tank. He's a bit annoyed that you've crippled that Lehmannus battle tank. And uh, he's uh, made sure he's clambered up and he's like removed an eye socket. And yeah, he's... <laughs> 
He's tearing you to pieces. You do that, Fade, if you want. All right, okay. Technically, I didn't want to, but there we go. Oh, well, he's ripped his head off. He's ripped the face off. So, we are actually down to a morale, because morale is going to be very important on this. But they automatically pass, because they are within uh, six inches of him. So, they automatically pass. These have lost three. And that is a fail. Right, I've brought morale. I lost one, and then I rolled that out of a six. Um, so I actually, oh no, I had six left. Oh, hey, I've done that wrong. Yep, I thought that I was running off on ones and twos, but I still had half a squad left, even after I removed that one guy. So in actual fact, I am safe. Right, let's go into Gene Steeler Cult, turn three. I like that. Too. So then, folks. We've got the Gene Steelers coming in here. They're going to try and, because they're fast, so hopefully I can deal with him and then try and deal with the threats that come down this particular side. They're moving forward to try and deal with the commandos. I know the shooters are here, but I need to keep them away from that objective. The adherents are on. They've decided that these boys here look tasty enough for us to uh, slap with some hammers, but hopefully not in a position, because he has to fire through a lot of this minus one terrain, so hopefully I'm in a position where if I do fail, I'm not going to get crap kicked out of me. The Patriarch is staying in combat. He has uh, discarded the Familiar, done a smite, another wound. So he's down to six. And he's plusing one to their wound rolls. With another psychic power, which at the moment escapes my mind. <laughs> so we've got some shooting to happen. He's a vehicle. So I'm probably going to try and blast him to pieces with some of these guys. Right. Let's Oh, I've got orders to do first. So these guys have moved forward. They've moved underneath to try and get the benefit. So I've got to do the orders first. So the orders are going to be reroll ones to hit on these. So rocket into him. Last gun's plasma into them. So rocket to begin with, needing the four. Oh, it's a hit. And it bounces off his exhaust port. God damn it. Plasma not overcharging. Two hits, that's one of those dead. I might be stupid because he's probably going to take it away from someone that's uh, closest, but there we go. And then there's three last guns on the last pistol. I'm not firing with the unit underneath. I just don't want to take out too many of these guys and try and minimize, oh. Oh, sod it, I will do. Frag rocket into their minimum of three. So three shots, needing like fives, we roll in the ones, one hit. Forced a wound. It's a wound. One more of these guys. Can you save? Yep. Uh, just you know what I'm at. No. Nope. One more down. Last gun. Missed. Plasma gun not overcharging. Actually, I think it's just one shot from there. And that missed as well. No, we all ones. Nothing else. So this squad now is going to open fire into the commandos. We're going to go with the two seismic cannons first. Needing fives to hit. Ooh. Wow. Uh, five to wound, I think. I think that's three. So due to the fact that his front line is actually touching the cover, which we always count as being in cover, it's getting a plus three. So three saves then, sir. And that will be all of them saved. God damn it. Right, now. Now, I'm going to roll to hit with the ball pistol, which misses, so that's fine. I haven't got to do anything else. 2d6 hits with the flamers. So seven. So that's another three wounds requiring the same result, sir. Another one of them goes down. Right. These guys here, these guys are going to open up. So, grenade launcher first. Hits on a crack grenade and fails to wound. Mining laser. Hits. It wounds. It's a minus three and D6 damage, sir. So I don't get a chance to save because... So five wounds. Bloody hell, he's dead, isn't he? Uh, hopefully. Ah, uh, he's no, gone. He's dead. Does oh. it explode? No. Okay. <laughs> so Will has played Orcs has never beaten when apparently he just does a shooting phase. <laughs> Everyone else gets to fire one weapon, apparently Orcs get to fire everything. 
So he's going to shoot all of its weapons into these. My gene stealers that's just turned up. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Go on then, sir. Uh, roll take. Right, so the burner first. D6 hits. Two. That's two. Two automatic. Needing roll. Five. Okay. five. Yeah. So one wound so far. The gene stealers. Save. Five up in there. Uh, he's got his snagger claw. So one shot. Hits. Roll to wound. It wounds. It goes through. How much damage does it do? D3. So roll D3. Because I no wounds on a 6 up. Just one. Yeah. Nope. So I do lose a Gene Stealer for now. So one's gone down. Um, and then the boomsticks, two shots apiece. So he's got three of them, so it's six shots. Oh, one eight. He has been uh, well and truly melted. And no wounds. All right. And then he might explode, but there's nothing within six. So, no. He, uh... Finally dies. Finally dies. Finally two, two XP. Right. So my fighter can't actually shoot anything. Those are behind this ruin. These are behind this ruin. Him is behind two ruins and they're behind that ruin. So the only thing I could shoot would be them over there and I can't even shoot them. So yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's get into some charges. So these guys are going in. So, I'm gonna do the bone sword first, just to get it out of the way. Freeze to hit, two hits. Strength for five, toughness eight, so I need fives normally, but the psychic power means I need fours. So one wound, with a minus one or two or something. Yeah, that one. Minus two, and one damage, sir. So, so five, I believe. Uh, right, so. The Morkonaut's got to save a three open, so it'd be four. So it saved it. Right, now this is the important bit. The rocks, the, the drills. Rock drills, in threes. Right, so the rock drills have two hit, two wounds. It's minus three, sir. No. So they've both gone through, so that's only one damage each so far. And then I have to roll some special rules. So basically I roll a D6 per drill. Typical. That one scores no additional wounds. That one scores another one. So you've suffered three wounds so far. So he's on three. Another mortal wound. So you suffered four wounds so far. Two. And then, so I need a two plus, three plus. This is four plus. Another one. One. So if I get a five up on this, it's dead. He's dead. No! <laughs> it's got one wound left. Thankfully, I've still got guys with claws to fight, but the drills nearly killed him. That's the first time the drills have ever done anything really, really, really good. <laughs> right, so. Come on, Red Squad. One, two, three normal guys. So these will be the rending claws. I'll do these first. So freeze the hit. I need, because I'm strength five. I need fives to wound, but because of the power, I need fours. So two have gone through with minus one. Oh, I've got him! Unless he come man points, you got one left. No. Nope. So he's down. Does he explode, sir? I'm hoping so. Uh, I'm hoping not. <laughs> I'm hoping so. <laughs> Go on then. Ooh. So the massive Morkonaut has been laid low by the team. They are not going to move. They're going to sit there on that lovely objective. And at the moment, I'm not within three inch of that one. So I'm still not getting that objective. But I'm within an inch of that. So we're going to be Will's turn. So it's going to be Orc's turn three. And he's still going to have two objectives to two. So he's going to score a good ten points. But he's got a chance to try and get more. At the moment, I am actually scanned two areas. Well, hasn't all he's only scanned one, which is his home section. So it's whether or not he sacrifices some units to scan sections, regardless of moving. But we will see. Right then, sir, your turn three. Right, 
at the end of the orcs movement phase they've moved some up here those guys have dismounted those guys have moved up these guys have turned up war boss has turned up and these have assaulted forward so because we're allowing the recon to happen in the move at the end of the movement phase because it just makes more sense um they've decided to recon he's decided to recon and they've decided to recon so effectively will has now got all four table quarters reconned because he only scored five at the beginning of his turn so it normally would have been five down now he's scoring an almighty 45 points ahead of what i can do so this is going to be quite interesting because it's going to basically be me on the back foot do i hold the objectives I need to try and get some of these uh, these areas sorted because I'm only on five at the minute. Right then, so what you're firing is not doing any psychic, so what are you shooting with first? Let's go with Bomber at back, straight into a big load of lads there. They're going into the Gene Steelers because of, I'm on there and it's going to go more darker. Scorcher missiles are going to open up. They are an automatic six shots because of the amount of guys I've got in this squad. Needing fives and sixes to hit. Wow, that's four hits with an additional four shots. That's the one. There you go. So you've got five hits, scorching missiles. They are strength five, minus one, and I don't get pluses to my cover saves. You didn't freeze. That's all four, mate. All five, do you mean? Five even. Go on. He's a definitely an orc. He's gone to four and he's just gone its lots. <laughs> right, so five up in run. I lose four. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. Before I lose the four, this is that special unit. It's got a six up kill, no pain. Yes, and I lose three. Beast. So three go down. Is that not a character? No. No, none of them are characters. Oh, okay. It's just a uh, fancy base. It's just all, they're all fancy bases, sir. Right, so the next one is the super shooters, is it? Yeah. Six shots, because you've got two of them. Again, new fives and sixes. We've got two fives, so that's an extra two shots due to more darker. It's three hits. Super shooters. Uh, strength six is going to need threes. It's a minus one, so my saving throw, I believe, is a six, which increases it to four, which makes it a five. So it's just two apologies, saving throw, two needing fives, saved one, feel no pain of six, no. So I lose another. So they're down to four, and then he's got another six shots with his twin, with his twin big shooters. Six. How many you got in your hand there? Big shooter with a grot gunner firing up, needing fours. And again, fives and sixes exploding. Oh, that's terrible. So he got one hit, so he did the orc shoot in there. One hit, extra shot. No, and he needs a three. He gets it. I'm going to be more better at benefiting from cover rather than my invulnerable. And I save. But I did nice. lose four this turn. Big shooter from a truck firing into the infantry. Two three shots, mate. You've only rolled two dice, do you? And missed. <laughs> oh dear. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. They've missed everything. Missed everything. They're not shooting. They, they can't shoot. shoot. They can shoot pistols, yep. Yeah. Four of them. Actually, no. Okay. Gonna leave it. Shit. No, nope. we're gonna use stick bombs, but he's decided his, his sluggers are better. One hit. Uh, wounds. And because of the extra cover. I've saved. So the sluggers under here are firing up the squad underneath because we said that this, you know, the basically the area is the area, so it'd be a minus one to hit. The in sixes, he's got one hit, an extra shot. No, and he needs threes. No, oh. sluggers don't do much there. And then they can't fire. He's doing an action so he can't shoot. And that's my shooting. And that will be his shooting. Right, let's go on no, to... No, it's not. Stick oh. bomb lobber. Stick bomb lobber. I can't... Don't even it. know what that does. Bit of an error. Uh, there's no unit on board, so he actually can't fire the stick bomb. So that's so our fault. Into the there charging. we go. So it will be into the orc charge phase. Right, so we're definitely going to charge up down here. It's going to... I'm not quite sure what it is. Roll your dice. And <laughs> we'll see. Right, it's not that. <laughs> Try again. 
It's a, it's a seven, right, okay. Close. Let's have a look here. That would be in. That would be in. So they managed to just get into combat with them guys there. We'll come and do that in a moment. These lads over here, I did a bit of an overwatch and they lost a guy on the way in. Um, they couldn't charge because they're doing an action. And here, he's declared everybody. Because of the rule regarding the five inch on different levels, effectively he can be in combat with everyone. He's even declared the captain there as well. So that's going to be quite interesting. Right then, sir. So you're going to go with these first? I am, yes. Who's going first down here then? Right, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Boss because obviously he gets an extra attack. He's got a power he's fist got a as power well. Claw as well. Yeah. Oh, sorry, power claw. Um, so it'll be three attacks hitting on four, fours. Hitting on fours. Because you lose minus one. Yep. Yeah. He's got a hit. He's crumping on twos. He's crumped. So one of these big lads here. They go down. Then and then you've got two other lads, the choppers. Hitting on threes. So they get two attacks. Is it two attacks on four pal? Yeah. Plus one for the choppers. Yeah. So I've got three attacks. Three attacks each. So we need threes. Oh, that's a bad roll. Two hits. Uh, needing threes to wound. Needing. Oh! Needing twos yeah. to wound due to throat slitters roll. Oh, okay. Two wounds. Any minuses? Uh, uh, no. I've saved them both, sir. Very good. <laughs> 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 right. I like that. Very, very good. Uh, these guys next. That's what are they for yeah, bridge? Yeah. Right, so it's going to be this squad here. So the noble and two bulks are actually going to go against my captain. So go ahead, sir. I'm guessing it's three attacks for the uh, yeah no. So yeah, he's got a kill saw. It's going to be minus one to hit. Always oh, hit three times. This might be a waste of additional boys here. Three wounds. wounds. It's a minus lot. lot. So one save. So how much damage does this do? I believe it's a flat two for a saw. Oh dear. So the others, as well as just put it, stab a corpse. The other four guys, yep, that's going to be three attacks apiece on the guys underneath. Not the guys on top. Hitting on these. Yep. Oh, that's a hell of a lot of hits. They don't that's like really them good. shooting. No, 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 they don't. Wounded on threes, Wounded on threes, sir. No, they definitely oh, don't. No, definitely don't. Uh, so that's going to be two, four, six, seven. Now we did say everyone's got heavy covers here. Looking at force to save here. Oh my god! Wow. So I will have him die and a wound on the heavy weapon team. So we've gone to the burners. The spanners attack done nothing, but now it's the turn of the other guys. So there's seven guys, two attacks apiece. Need a freeze. That's a healthy amount. That's a miss. And then you need freeze again, sir, to hurt me. Uh, ooh. Five fails there, sir. So you've got three, four, five, six wounds. So it's a minus two. I'm on a five up, but I get a plus one for heavy cover. So I'm on a six. Like they're sixes. Oh, three of them! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Now, here comes the thing. Who do I kill? Right, so I've killed the three. I killed the guy with the um, Lash Whip and Bone Sword, and he failed to do anything. So, these are the Rending Claws coming back at him. I'm going to do them now, because it's my turn to attack. The Rending Claws, one hit. Freeze to wound. It's a wound and a minus one. I'm not quite sure if these guys are going to save. Will they get, will they get their cover from? Only, you only get it if you're being charged. Right, okay. So, so we'll check that out in a second. Yep, T-shirt save otherwise. So I think that might be one dead. I remember drill. One hit. Kills one. So they only get a T-shirt save, so that's yeah. two dead. That'll be two, and then I've just got one more. Two more basic attacks. With the extra swords. 
And they had the two wounds as well, but these you do get a save with, sir. So you've saved one and lost another one. So in actual fact, I lost quite a few guys there. So I fought back. I fought back there, didn't do anything. I fought back here and I did one wound. So no morale on them for them. I've got no morale on those guys. I do have a morale on this lad underneath. He's fine. Uh, I, they would normally have a morale, but within six inch of my patriarch, they go, no, I don't care. But the burner boys have only got a leadership of six. So there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So we can use the number. We can have a leadership of seven, but we lost three. So D6 plus three is a six. They are fine now. Okay. They're not running off. They're not doing what they're not supposed to do. And all that good stuff. Right. But at the end of my turn, I'm contesting that. Uh, I'm no, because I'm troops. So I'll be winning that one. Aren't they classed as troops now? Your burner boys are elite. Right. So he's tried to valiantly get me off this objective, but because of my troop type, me rolling some really good saves, I am still on it. But he has got the 45 for basically getting the objective. So let's go into my turn four. So in my movement phase, another guy's come on here. I've used my command point to bring another guy back on. I've actually gone, we've gone forward and done the psychic phase. I've failed on a smite. These guys moved forward and started claiming this table quarter. So I've got three so far. I don't think I'm going to get the four. That's going to be the big point is getting the four. These have stayed still. This lot has just decided that I'm going to munch those guys because last, last battle, these two never got to fight each other. I've fallen back down here just to make sure I've got a couple of units on that objective. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to do some shooting now. The flyer shifted all the way down here because we've got two characters stood out on their own. Let's try and kill them, shall we? No, let's not. So I'm going to fire a last cannon and a rock. Uh, no, I'm going to fire the two rockets into him, and the two last cannons are going to go into the weird boy warhead. So the two last cannons, one hit. I need a two. It's gone through. The save is minus three, sir. Oh, I don't get a save then. And it's D6 damage. How many wounds does he have? Uh, I believe it's four. I will oh, no, it's a one. He's still going to survive. Yeah, he has four wounds. Three, all right. Right, the two rockets then. One hit on the boss. I'm not quite sure what the toughness of the boss is, but oh, it's cocked. I'll get you that. A six, so he's going to be wounded anyway. I think it's a minus two, and it's D6 plus two damage if it goes through. But I think the boss has got a four pin one, hasn't he? He has, yes. His toughness. He's got a toughness of five. Right, that's fine. I've wounded him with the, uh, the hit anyway. He gets a four pin one. Yeah, go ahead. The biggest boss. Uh, how many saves on one. him? Just the one. Just one. Done it. Saved it. It would have been a D6 plus two, so I would have done. Three! So I wonder if even killed him with that anyway. Well done. Last ditch effort to try and get some XP out of that. Right, I've got a mining laser and a grenade launcher. So a grenade launcher is going to go in first. Crack grenade. Hits. Doesn't wound. Mining laser. Misses. And then an auto gun. Might as well chuck it in there. One hit. Nothing. God damn you! I have done nothing in my shooting phase. Are you not orcs? Well, that's just some jagging. <laughs> right, so we've managed to get in combat here. Managed to get in combat there. I'm now going to do the Patriarch first because he's got nothing to interrupt, so it's just easier. So the Patriarch needing twos. He's got five hits. Strength is six. Needs threes with rerolls. That's four. They're all minus three and D3 damage apiece. So the Patriarch runs in. Kills four of these guys before we get a chance to hurt him. Oh, then we've got yeah. these that need fighting. Right, so we've gone through the combats because <laughs> we didn't think it was going to be that long, but they've attacked back and done nothing. They did get mullered and I actually killed three of the guys. Down here, <clears throat> they managed to finish off that squad and muller nearly 90% of the ones guys up here. I fought back, did nothing, and here 
Well, the patriarch and these lads took care of him. He did die again, so he just got resurrected and come back and he's died again, but oh well, <laughs> never mind. So it's a morale test on these. These lost, it was about three. They failed. They have to do a morale, so... So basically, I'm going to have one guy left. I'll have it as a sergeant, because that'll be hilarious. So the sergeant is still left out of that team. Um, and then these guys need a morale. <laughs> they lost three. Ah, yeah. They've instantly passed. They're like, no, Sodji, it's fine. We're all yeah. good. We are We're all yeah. good. Right. Let's just have a look. At beginning of Will's turn four, because I think, I don't think I'm going to be able to score and get that one in there. So because he's got all four quarters with the 45 points. Hmm. Right then, fellows, we've had a look. Um, basically, I'm on 55 by capturing the three. I can't capture the last objective area because I can't get into it. So... Will, because he actually got all three, and we let, like I said, it was supposed, the rules are that you're supposed to do at the beginning of your movement phase. We stated that that was a little too slow, and we said it was going to be at the end of your movement phase, as long as you can do an action. So just a basic move to be able to do it. That actually created a really, really good, like, oh, am I going to chuck things in there and not use them? And I mean, like those guys, those guys came in, didn't do anything, and got killed. So, <laughs> you know, but we got the objective done. Absolutely. So... We're going to call it there, simply because he's won. I can't actually bring the game back. So rather than have my units get killed and have to lose experience or whatever, or possibility of losing experience, I'm just going to fall back and retreat. So I'm going to abandon the battlefield. So Will's won the second game. I won the first one. Team Orcs. Go Team, team Orcs. Orcs. He's <laughs> won the second. <laughs> so that means in the next game we play, he's going to be on plus 10 and he's going to be on plus 2 command points. That one's going to be a big one. That's going to be 100 points. We're not quite sure if we're going to be here or down at mine, but... I'd probably oh, say yeah. for next one, the club. I'll share oh, yeah, yeah. If we, can, if we can get in the club, we'll get in the club. But if we can get in the club, we might be doing the other campaign mm. with the Imperium. I'd say the round three, like the big one coming next, will be better right. played at the club due to Maybe. the table size, as it is. Yeah, but it's only six foot by... It's still a six foot by four foot ball, sure. so it should be all right. Oh, it doesn't matter. We've got options. Yeah, by the time the next one comes around, we've got options. Well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, definitely a hard-fought battle. Very, very good, very <laughs> bloody, and a lot of units have got points. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. Um, it's always beneficial if you do give us a like or share because it does help algorithms, or so we think. I don't even think Google knows what it's doing <laughs> nowadays. Or, as Bev calls it, Google, because we have a, a Google Echo. Is it a Google Echo? Google Echo Dot? Uh, she's been yelling at it and she doesn't call it Google, she calls it Google. So, yeah, I'll, we'll be able to, I'll, when I get it back on vi videos, I'll be able to take my account off before it. Well, thank you very much, guys. We'll see you next time.